Good morning. I am back in the kitchen, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, and I'm putting together my um, tomato jam. Now look, this recipe came straight off of Pinterest, so if it's something that you think you would love and you want to try, it is there, or you can simply write it down as I demo how I do it. I'm just uh, peeling my, let me see if y'all can see. I am peeling my ginger. Again, tomato jam is a little different. Uh, it's a salsa consistency. It's great on a biscuit with uh, country ham or sausage or just plain. Just plain is fine. Um, anyway, you're going to need two pounds of ripe tomatoes. You're going to need um, three fourths, uh, let's see, cup of brown sugar. You're going to need um, some ginger, fresh ginger. And you're going to need um, cinnamon, uh, cloves, salt, cayenne pepper, and some apple cider vinegar. Okay? I'm just going to simply um, grind this ginger. Grate this ginger. Ginger smells so good. And I actually have about seven to eight pounds of tomatoes, so I will be quadrupling this recipe. Last year, I made this for the first time and canned it. Gave it to some friends, took, took some back and forth to tailgates. It got gone very quickly. It's just a different take on um, tomato and jam. Um, you do not need sure gel for this. Um, I've got my jars in the dishwasher. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of fresh ground ginger, so of course I'm going to need four of those. I'll let the blender do the rest of that. washed my tomatoes and uh, now I'm just cutting those up and putting them in my food processor. I've had people ask me what the brand name of my food processor is. It is a Cuisinart. I love it, especially this time of year. I use it a lot this time of year. And with this one, I'm afraid I'll cut myself I'm gonna just cut this into chunks and stick it in this food processor and let the food processor do the work. Save me a little time. I'm gonna chat and see if y'all have questions about this particular recipe. tomatoes. Let's see. What are you making today? Good morning, Sharon. I am making a uh, tomato jam to can. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, tom uh, Roma tomatoes are best. I mix in a few of uh, other types of tomatoes that I have that are ripe in the garden right now, but for the most part, um, I use Romas for this. Anytime I use, anytime I do sauces or salsa, I use, try to use Romas. They just cook up better. They're not quite so watery. So they give you a better consistency if you're doing a sauce or a salsa or jam. Listen, I like Romas just to cut them up and put them on a sandwich, but or I love them in a salad. ahead and add the rest of my ingredients and I'm going to eyeball this two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar so I'm going to need two times uh, four is eight one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now into this, I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasonings, which is one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. This has a sweet flavor, a little bit of savory, but more sweet. That calls for one eighth teaspoon of cloves. I'm just gonna do a shake shake of that. I love the smell of cloves. Working in a dental office all these years, there's, has a flavor, has a, a scent of cloves in it. Um, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and I may choose to add a little more of that at the end of this process one teaspoon of salt again I'm quadrupling this recipe <clears throat> get my Paula Dean salt box Okay, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, salt, cayenne. Okay, I'm gonna give, oh, three-fourths a cup of brown sugar. Let's have some room here. My cup measurement is dirty, so I'm gonna use my fourth cup and half a cup. There's one. Oh, I just made a mess. You know what? This is not smart. Let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four. because a lot of people have never had tomato jam, so they're intrigued by it. Okay, I'm gonna use the rest for you. Okay, brown sugar needs to go on the grocery list, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna give that a judge. Not too much, because I want it to have a little bit of chunky consistency. Let me show you what that looks like, because I've got some more tomatoes to cut up to put in it. Oh wait, I didn't get it off. Hold on. Hold on. And if you notice, I am using my Amish cook, my Amish cutting board that the Amish grandchildren are making. Let me pour this into my pot. And then I'm gonna finish doing the rest of the tomatoes and add that. And then I'll keep that low for about 30 minutes, um, just till all the flavors get blended up pretty good. And then when I get back this afternoon, I will can it then. So y'all, that's how I do my tomato jam. It is delicious. Give it a try. If you love tomatoes and you have lots of them coming in this time of year, try some tomato jam. Let's see if there's any questions. Do cloves have a healing component? You know, I don't, I, it, they actually do. They soothe the nerve of the tooth and the clove smell that you smell inside of a dental office is actually the material that we put down inside of a tooth that is having a root canal. So it has some soothing powers to the nerves of the teeth. Um, that's about all I know. I just know, I just love the smell of it. I think it's a clean smell as well. What do you do with tomato jam? Um, Bridget, I put it on biscuits uh, or toast or bagel with cream cheese. You could even use this as a hors d'oeuvre by just simply pouring it over a block of cream cheese and serving it with crackers. It is sweet. Um, there's a little savory to it, but more sweet. How much tomatoes for a single recipe? Oh, two pounds, Brenda. 
two pounds of tomatoes for one recipe. And I don't even know how much that makes because I always make way more than what the recipe, that recipe calls for. How do you eat tomato jam? Yeah, I just, yeah, I've covered that April thing. Let's see, good for two things. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer to that one. Um, are cloves good for toothaches? Probably so. Oh, thank you, Patsy. Check your email. Okay, Patsy, I, I will do that. Uh, actually, Sid is going to be checking emails, so um, we'll be checking those together at some point this week. Can you see me? Kimberly Stone Street. I can see your comments. Kimberly, can you post the recipe for a single recipe? Um, Brenda, I'll take a picture of this card and post it. Sure will. No problem. No problem. Good drizzled over shrimping. Oh, I bet so. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. That's a great idea. Oh, good. Kimberly said, okay. Can I see what it looks like now? Sure. Hang tight just a minute. Let me get the rest of these tomatoes incorporated. And then I'll show you over the stove what it looks like. How much does that recipe make? I don't know. Honestly, because I always uh, am making more than what this recipe calls for. Oh, thank you, Sally. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy watching. Please check your emails. Okay, Kimberly, I will be doing that uh, first of the week. After I'm done here today, I will be finished for the weekend with cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, just time off for some family time kind of thing. My dad's birthday, my brother's birthday. Anyway, looks like you've got a busy day ahead. Yeah, Cheryl, you know, if you know me, you know I like to stay busy. And this time of year with stuff coming in out of the garden, if we want to eat good in the winter, I got to put it up in the summer. Yup, sure do. I'm gonna save that one for later for a sandwich some sort. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, a couple more tomatoes and then I'll be able to show y'all what it looks like, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And y'all, I like to have a little bit of the tomatoes that aren't quite all the way right, just to give it some consistency. It's just my thing. Okay. Get these blended up. <coughs> then I can show y'all a picture of what it looks like on the stove. tomato jam too y'all over eggs or over an omelet delicious like that okay let me show y'all what it looks like let me grab my spatula <clears throat> there it is boom all right i'm gonna get some heat under this let these flavors marry up and then i'll be canning it later i'll show you a picture of the finished product i was just gonna ask you about the tomatoes uh lori what about the tomato sugar did i answer your question already Excuse me, my allergies are in overdrive. Let's see. Flory had a question. I made your pepperellis for, oh good Kelly, how'd you like it? You must have a room totally for candid. I actually don't, I wish I did. But I, you know, now that the boys are really out of the house for the most part, I don't have to can quite as much. Well, hey Miss Kane. Yes, you did. So, okay, good, Lori. Good, good, good. Yeah, my preference are, to, are to, uh, Roma tomatoes for um, canning uh, and sauces and stuff like that. They cook up uh, less watery than other tomatoes. They don't have as much water in them, and they just make for a better, thicker, pasty sauce. 
Okay, guys, I'm out. I will um, show you a picture of this. Yet, uh, it would be good with jalapenos, actually, Jan. I agree with you. Um, I know. What's up, to, uh, Misha? Tomato jams. What's up, girl? Yes, girl. Yes, and it's good. All right, guys, I will see you guys in a little bit later on this afternoon. I'll show you a picture of those, uh, that tomato jam when I've got it canned up. Y'all have a great Saturday. See ya.